All right, so we're going to check out this foot bath uh, massager that's collapsible that I just purchased on Amazon. Uh, just got it. I just cut it open. Let's take a look at the unboxing, see what's inside here. Okay, we got the foot bath. Like this. That's all. Okay. So now. Let's see what's inside of here. Let's open up all the goodies. Okay, so this looks like it's your remote control and your instructions, the obvious. Okay. Uh, let's take this cover off. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, it's a pumice stone, it looks like. Some little plastic rollers it appears here let's zoom in on those these are just some plastic rollers i guess they could massage your feet you but you got to push them not automatic or electric i don't know why you would need that you just move your feet back and forth as you see fit less things to break i guess but all right, and uh, from what I've seen, this is where you just rest the controller. Because it's remote control, but I understand it's also magnetic. So that's what the controller, upside down, that's what the controller looks like. Got a police piece out to, to the police Clear plastic tongue piece out to activate the battery. Yeah. And so it's the other side, this side. And then you just place this right there. See how it's magnetic? It holds on. So and it just holds into place. By a magnet. Okay. Yeah, it holds decent. It's easy. I guess you're not gonna lose it that way. That's good. All right. So now that you got that in place, see the this first plug for your outlet there. Three prong plug. Medical King, it looks like it's the brand. And uh, this seems to be some kind of a rubberish material, hard plastic on the bottom. As you can see, there are textures, textured bubbles down here on the bottom. Um, I guess here's the jets where the water would be shooting from. This is rubberized. This is hard plastic. This feels like rubber here as well. Okay, so let's see what do we do. We just pull this up without looking at the instructions. Yeah, that's what you do, and that's all it takes to open up the bath at full. Okay, so let's see. It goes from a height of about three four inches that you would collapse it to you're just holding the bottom and pulling up on the sides i guess that could be tricky <laughs> come on stay up there we go and now that's together all right all open all the way around now it's nice and deep enough to get your tootsies in there <laughs> all right so that puma stone looks like it's gonna be good to rub your feet against the, if you get some hard bottoms on your feet or toes or what have you this piece right here <coughs> if you notice this piece right here excuse me uh, that'll just turn open and I guess it just sticks down there as a safety of sorts just kind of balances in there and 
pull the top up a little bit and then that just kind of rests right there and it gives a little bit of support I guess so prevent the, the tub from collapsing when you got water in it <laughs> okay um, if you were to lean on it or something you know I mean the sides will still collapse on you it looks like but I guess it'll try to prevent it even if you lean on it it'll pop back into place automatically or not maybe a piece will just snap off like this but it looks like that goes right back in yeah. right back into place so I guess I'm being a little rough with it too so you give it a fair chance especially since this one was much much cheaper on Amazon than the comp uh, competition this is like fifty fifty nine dollars or something like that the others are going for considerably more um, so let's give it a fair chance put your feet in there fill it up with your water with some Epsom salt and then it's got some modes here uh, let's fill it up with water and then let's see what it could do now before we get started with filling it up with water I just pulled out the uh, uh, instructions on there figure I'd give them a little look see how much water do I put in there how much can I put up there what the full okay so it gives you your thing talks about the jets let me see number three of the jets okay so these part inside are the jets that will be these flat pieces where water will be shooting out of I'm not sure if this is the intake this is probably where the water is going to come in to the motor and then push out of these two jets throughout that whole spa <laughs> all right the foot bath um, let's go over this a little bit okay you got that Puma stone yeah that's uh, six that center piece right there that's your heater and the intake for the water there and uh, that's it really so we got to make sure we flip this down and lift it up before we get started with our collapsible medical king foot spa they got a service number there if you should need I mean who needs a service number for a foot spa massage rollers remote control yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not that complicated of a device, so. Um, let's see now. Uh, the settings we have on here are bubble. You got your on off, your bubble. I guess your timer there. And then this for heat, uh, how hot do you want the water to get? Um, now, as far as how much water do you put into it, the, heat, the water line, the water fill line, it's up to here, okay? So uh, you can see that, I mean, it's painted the same color, or it's not painted, but it's the same color as the plastic. It says maximum fill line is up to here, okay? So this way, when you put your feet in, the water level rises a bit. It's not gonna spill out. So you fill it up to that, to that last bend, I guess, the highest bend. That's where you could fill up to. Now we're gonna fill up with water. I'm gonna show you what she's got. Okay, so I filled her up with water and it looks like uh and i use my shower hose to do it that's probably easiest bet and then that that red light uh i heard a beeping noise and then that red light went on inside make sure you also have yourself a towel handy so that you could dry off your tootsies when you're done and uh so i just added water in here put that back into place float it away and then um so, I don't know if that's the heating element that's on or what. Let's take a look and see what that red light does. And it shows being on in this picture too. Or does it just show that it's got power and it's plugged in? Now, it's not a bad idea that you uh, fill it up with warm water already so you don't have to wait for it to warm up on you. Using without the remote. Press power button to turn on. Okay, so where's the power button? Without a remote control. Apparently there's a power button somewhere and it is on the side. Okay, I see that. So, if we were to turn this 
filled with water. You can see that there's a power button right here on the side. And I guess it's on now. And you could use it without the remote control, I guess, if the batteries go dead. And make sure that you put in not just water. You know, you want to detox your tootsies. So, <laughs> you got to baby them, right? That's why you got this thing anyway. Put some Epsom salt in there. Maybe about a half a cup to a cup of Epsom salt in there. And that will uh, uh, soften up your, uh, your, your feet, your skin on your feet. It'll clean out your tootsies a bit. That uh, Epsom salt works wonders. Alright, so we got that on right now using that side button now let's shut it off with this oh well, you press the side button again I guess different features now that light just turned yellow inside it's red again and then it's off okay so let's see so using the power button on the side there you'll hear the buzzer press the power button again the buzzer will beep the light will turn yellow to a medium temperature press the uh, buzzer again it'll beep to turn red to a high temperature press power button again beeps three times and the bubbles will stop I guess you just shut it off at that point now to do use the remote control okay once again it uses a CR 2025 watch type battery not the 2035s but the 2025 uh, battery Okay, let's see how the remote works. Let's hit it with the power button. Hey, it works. <laughs> Turn the bubbles on. And press bubbles again. Okay, uh, that'll shut it off. Press the bubbles on. Press the bubbles again. Did they get any more intense? Not that I could tell. Press it again, they go off. Then you got your timer, uh, then you got your heater. So the timer for the bubbles, I guess, and the, for the whole unit to shut itself off. We got low, medium, high heat. So I guess when the water cools off, it doesn't cool off. You can keep it at whatever temperature you set it at, whatever temperature you find uh, uh, comfortable. So, but don't forget to put that half a cup to a cup of uh, Epsom salt in there. Remember that Epsom salt, here's a bag I got for you. Epsom salt. This stuff is great for your tootsies <laughs> and other things. You could use it as a laxative, uh, or that's all they put into a lot of these laxatives anyway, or um, as a soaking solution for minor uh, minor sprains, bruises. It really helps out the skin too. It's a really good uh, thing. Epsom salt. So what we'll do is now you could. I just got a little slit cut into the bag here and uh, I can just pour in a little bit as desired but if you want to make sure you're getting the right amount and not too much. Now, I'm going to fill this cup up maybe you could fill it up or you could just go about halfway. I'm just going to go a little bit a little bit more than halfway on here. Mix that in you know. Uh, now it's going to sit just sitting there you can see the salt just sitting there so I'm going to I'm actually going to turn on the uh, the bubbles let the bubbles mix that Epsom salt in real good right there you go and you could swirl it around with your feet or your or your hands you see the water will get a little cloudy and depending on uh, your treatment you know this is the first time I've done my tootsies in ages with a, with a with a soak anyway, other than those chemical baths. Uh, so I'm gonna put. Whoop, I'm sure you don't make a mess. I'm gonna take another one of these. Break it all up, any big chunks. And what the hell? We're gonna put extra salt in there. So we got a full cup. Put a full cup of Epsom salt in there. Now it's time we're gonna lay our tootsies in there. Uh, set it down rest for maybe a half an hour or so uh, and have your uh, have this thing work uh, do its magic on your foot so 
that's it it's just like any other foot bath except the price is <laughs> seems to be pretty good and some of the other ones they seem to try to sell it as a uh, uh, being advanced features and worth a uh, hundred dollars or a hundred fifty dollars uh, worth a lot uh, selling it for a lot more because uh, instead of having the plastic rollers they have shiatsu electronic for me that's something else just to break or it's uh, you're gonna have a motor inside that has to turn that or if the uh, seal breaks on that now you're also risking electrocution and all that but I'm sure they got their safeties in place but uh, there's um, it's just another thing to break and it's just another motor and if you don't like the way the motor feels this way you could just slide your feet on it it's nice and comfy and you're not spending a you're spending a lot less cash all right that's my review just a little update to this video I got my tootsies now in the foot bath uh, and how much the water came up it still has maybe about another half an inch when my feet are in there uh, before coming over the rim uh, and uh, but you move your feet back and forth do the bubbles make a difference mm, I don't know I really don't feel the bubbles it's not like a powerful bubble jet but there you can hear them and they're moving the water around Let's see. They're there. It's not a streaming jet. It's just a bubble maker, <laughs> you know. Uh, so it's not like it's a powerful jet that you feel uh, the water pushing on your feet. But surprisingly, those little rollers down there at the bottom, you know, uh, they actually feel pretty good for massaging your feet especially by my toes yeah, let's see the pumice how the, how the pumice stone works that's yeah, a little awkward I guess you can rub the inside of your heels on it you know you got to pull a foot out maybe to get the other side of your heel yeah uh, maybe to rub your toes on it you got some uh, thick skin on your toes. Be careful, don't put the weight on the edge there of that thing. You don't want to collapse this and have water getting all over the place. So, there you go. I guess as your feet, as your skin gets softer from soaking, you could rub your, your feet, you know, your big toe usually gets a lot of weight on it, so it gets some thicker skin, as well as your heels. and. I guess you could rub them on that pumice stone as it softens up, you know, and then that skin should peel away, but it's probably more efficient if you just have a separate pumice stone or a scra uh, foot scraper that you could use. Uh, that's not exactly the most convenient in the location there. Uh, I guess the idea was good, but uh, in practice, I don't know. It's there. So that's just a little update to this video. I'll, I'll try to add it into my entire video there. So uh, once that yellow light is on, by the way, that means the heater's on. If it's just a red light that's on, there's no heater on, okay? Uh, you can take a look. Here, let's uh, let me shut the heat off altogether. Uh, let's shut the whole unit off, okay? And then we turn the unit on, light turns blue, heater's not on there, it's not keeping the water warm. But second, doesn't matter which one of these that we hit for the temperature of the water heater, let's go with two, it, it turns yellow. That's a yellow light that's on there. I know it looks white here, uh, but uh, that's a yellow light. And it's keeping the water pretty nice and warm actually. Um, Feels like it's warming up from even more from what I put into it. I'm not sure if I put it on the third setting or the second setting, but uh, also you may want to make sure you don't drop this in the water. I don't know how waterproof this thing is. <laughs> and we're not going to put it to the test right now either. All right. That's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.